Welcome to Mass. We'll be starting in a few moments. Our opening hymn will be on page six. Uh, Seek ye first. We'll sing that for our opening hymn.
He was celebrating Mass in the catacombs and during the persecution of Valerian was martyred with two of its deacons. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for mercy but also for courage to lay down our lives for Jesus. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the strength of the martyrs, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the fulfillment of every desire, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray, Almighty God, make us docile in believing the faith and courageous in confessing it, just as you granted St. Sixtus and his companions, that they might lay down, they might lay down, lay down their lives for the sake of your word and in witness to Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. See, upon the mountains there advances a bearer of good news, announcing peace. Celebrate your feast, O Judah, fulfill your vows. For nevermore shall you be invaded by the scoundrel. He is completely destroyed. The Lord will restore the vine of Jacob, the pride of Israel. Though ravagers have ravaged him and doomed the tendril. Woe to the bloody city, all lies, full of plunder, whose ruin never stops. The crack of the whip, the rumbling sounds of wheels, horses a gallop, chariots bounding, cavalry charging, the flame of the sword, the flash of Spear, the many slain, the heaping corpses, the endless bodies to stumble upon. I will cast filth upon you, disgrace you, and put you to shame, till everyone who sees you runs from you, saying, Nineveh is destroyed. Who can pity her? Where can one find any to console her? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please respond. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his service he shall have pity. Learn that it is learn then that I, I alone am God, and there is no God beside me. It is I who bring forth death and life. I who inflict wounds and heal them. I will sharpen my flashing sword, and my hand shall lay hold of my quiver. With vengeance, I will repay my foe, and requit those who hate me. Bless 
Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a song by Dave Matthews, uh, he's a big fan when I was growing up, is so much to say, so much to say. I mean, this gospel, you could say so much, but one image uh, that comes to mind that has really helped me uh, understand this, this gospel uh, that makes it very concrete for me is whoever, it's this paradox again, in order to in order to save your life, you have to lose it. In order to gain life, you, you have to die. It's this paradox that Jesus gives. It's true. Uh, he shows it by his life. But the, the way that I think about it, what, what profit is it for a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? The, the image is we're holding on to things in life and you got two hands, and um, it's the question of how 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 tight are you holding on to things? You have the choice of holding on very hard to God and holding on to things lightly, or holding on to things really tightly and holding on to God. That's the way to think about it. So, the world, a person who gains the whole world, is holding on to the world tightly. And the mistake that that person has made is that he thinks that will last. But it won't last. I mean, the image that comes to mind, you ever seen the movie A, C a Citizen Kane with Orson Welles? still considered the greatest movie ever made. It's a story about this really, really rich man and how he has everything, but he's the saddest and most lonely man. He, he held on to things so tightly, but he didn't hold to God tightly. So what Jesus is saying, whoever holds on to God, onto him tightly, holds on to things lightly. That's how you gain your life. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. What's the denial? The denial is, is I'm not going to find my complete fulfillment in this world. I'm just not going to find it. I'm going to state it. That's what it is. I'm not going to be perfectly happy. How often do we have a hard time swallowing that pill? But to deny that, to deny ourselves, it's not just to be denial, no, no, be sad, I'm a Christian. 
is to deny ourselves so that we can say yes and cling to God completely. I think that's why there's so many martyrs. They're the ones who cling to Christ. Cling to Christ. Because they know that Christ uh, endures. Uh, the reality of Christ endures. What he gives endures. His gifts endure. His love never fails. His mercy is everlasting. I mean, that, that changes then the way you kind of, kind of look at life. We have to remember, like the St. Sixtus and Companions, there was no St. Peter's Basilica. There was no fancy churches in Rome at the time. St. Sixtus probably didn't have very fancy vestments. I probably had nicer vestments than he did back then. <laughs> but he was so clarified for that, that this is, this is worth it all. And, um, I feel like I repeat myself all the time, and I feel bad for all of you that I repeat myself, is when you're in a rich country like we are, it's so hard for us to get this. Because you go to the grocery store and everything you ever need is there. You have enough clothes, you have a nice bed, you have a nice house, you have hot water. That's the danger of living in a rich country. That's why when back in the olden days, they spoke about mortification and penance and denying yourself. So it just reminds you that, oh, that, I'm not living for that. I'm actually living for, for Jesus. So today's Friday, remembering the passion of our Lord. What's one way that you can deny yourself today so that you can remember that you're living for God? And that was the whole purpose of the penance. But it turned into gluttonous fish fries. See how we turned it upside down, the very discipline of giving up meat on Friday turned into a gluttony. So, all right, better stop ranting, sorry. Um, but deny yourself, take up the cross, follow me. Hold on tightly to God. Hold on loosely to this world. Amen. Let us stand and offer our prayers. God rewards with joy those who mourn for their sins and the sins of all our race. Let us pray with contrite hearts. Hear our prayer, O Lord, and forgive our sins. For we have failed to be compassionate as you are compassionate. Deepen our love for those who have fallen under the burden of their weakness. We pray to the Lord. For we have failed to be faithful as you are faithful. Renew our commitment to live the vows we made in baptism. We pray to the Lord. For we have failed to be loving as you are loving, sharpen our willingness to put you and our neighbor before our own desires. We pray to the Lord. For we have failed to be joyful as you free us to be. Strengthen our trust in your unfailing love for us. We pray to the Lord. For the end of the pandemic and for the resumption of normal life, we pray to the Lord. For all school officials, teachers, staff, um, faculty, parents, both at St. Teresa's and South Wind, that all of our students and teachers may remain safe as we seek to form our children, we pray to the Lord. And for all the faithful departed, we remember Robert Kaboshik in this Mass today. We also remember Joanne Wagner, whose funeral will be tomorrow. And for Wesley Frana, whose funeral will be on, on, on Monday. We pray to the Lord. Most merciful Lord and Savior, you wash away all our sins in the blood you shed upon the cross. Grant us the grace to rejoice in the freedom you have fought for us and to turn set others free by the power of the love you have shown us. You who live and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Sixtus and his companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant your peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all those who hold it to the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living in truth. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy 
and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once who were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servant Robert, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant him, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who are those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Amid us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom we continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. It was you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Those watching on the live stream, we can pray the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Hope you uh, enjoy the beautiful day. It's going to get a little warmer this weekend, but not as bad as I thought earlier. So have a great day and enjoy the sunshine and the fresh air. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. We pray together, St. Michael, the Archangel, that will be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast him to hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. God bless you all.